Hi everybody, this is Deidre Sauer, CEO of Bonito and Company, and today I will be talking to you about the three post-operative or post-surgical stages. What happens after surgery, after plastic surgery? Well, you undergo three post-op stages, okay? Number one, post-op stage number one is from week zero to two, and that's when you are going to feel uh, very bloated, swollen, bloated because of the painkillers that you're taking, swollen, and in pain. You're gonna feel like a truck ran over you, in pain because of all the incisions and all the trauma that you have undergone. So for your post-operative stage one, you need mild and gentle compression so that you don't have too strong of a compression that will hurt or press upon the incision. It needs to be mild, gentle, comfortable, and also so it is easy for you to put on because the last thing you wanna do is struggle and fight to get into that garment because it's gonna hurt, number one, and also you may start to bleed or undo a suture. So for your stage one, two garments, mild and gentle compression. Why two garments? Because Bonito and Company as you probably have heard, is made from super, super high-end, high-grade fabric blend. It's kind of like a Chanel suit, and it's handmade, so um, you can never, ever, ever put it in a washing machine or a dryer because the fabric blend, the material will be ruined, which will have a really, really negative impact on the compression. I have people, clients, they call me all the time, oh, the dry, I only put it in the dryer for five minutes for cool. I said, yeah, you ruined the garment. What did I say? Don't do that. You wouldn't put a Chanel suit in the dryer or in the washing machine. So your hand wash, air dry, and then here's a cool bonito factor. Before you put it on, you take the dry garment, you fold it up, put it back in the pouch you received it in, and then it goes in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes so the fibers can recompress and reconstitute. They really do that because the, the fabric blend is so high grade so that afterwards you get the same compression every time you wear your garment. That's why you need two. So you wear one while you wash and dry the other one because it takes about four to five hours to dry. Okay. So let's talk about sizing for your stage one. You will need one size bigger than the size that you were wearing your clothing size prior to your surgery. So let's say prior to your surgery, you were wearing large, which means for your stage one, for mild and gentle compression, you will need the model of your selection in an extra large. Now let's talk about stage two. Stage two is from week two to six. Now the cool stuff begins because now your body is going to start to take shape and form pretty much right in front of your eyes every two to three days. You're going to see the changes take place, which is really, really cool and awesome. So you need moderate compression for that. Same garment you wore before, just go down a size. Compression is never determined by the model that you buy, but by the size. In other words, the stronger the compression, the smaller you got to go in size. So for your stage two, for moderate compression, if you were wearing extra large for your stage one, now you're going to go down to a large. Okay, moderate compression. Then, last but not least, our stage three. Stage three, you're gonna go for super, super, super strong compression. That goes from week six to 12. When are you ready for super, super strong compression? When you're completely healed up, no oozing, no crusties, no scabs, no pain. You may have about 10% uh, swelling still left, but that's when you're ready because you're really going to have to fight and battle to get into that garment, to give your body the last polish so that you have the most even and flat shape with the least unwanted, as I always say, fat bumps and fat ripples. Now, what happens in sizing? You just go down another size. So stage one, you wore an extra large, stage two, Stage two, you're in a large, and stage three, you're gonna go into a medium. The medium will most probably be a permanent garment for you because you're already so small that you may be able to wear it at later events. Now, I do have to tell you, stage one and stage two garments are temporary. As you know, your body will be changing. So I always highly recommend to clients, if I can get them into a standard stage uh, one and two garment, go for it. Unless you have a very, 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 very unbalanced shape. In other words, you're really tiny on top and super big on the bottom, then you may need custom made. But if uh, a standard will work for a stage one and stage two, I suggest go for it because they're temporary and stage three will last for longer. 
that's my wisdom for today. If you have any questions, just go to our website, www.bonitoandcompany.com, or you can call us, or you can send us an email at info at bonitoandcompany.com. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.